Oh, definitely. That was something that was just completely natural. You know, when we first uh, started tagging, you know, Davey had pitched to Ring of Honor to for us to tag. You know, he was obviously in the company before me, and he had higher, you know, better status at that point. He was pitching for it just because he kind of saw, you know, we were similar in a lot of ways and as far as, like, styles and mentality and stuff like that. So, um but still, even at that point, you don't know. You don't know how it's going to go and start, you know, getting together. Because, you know, we're from different places. We were trained differently, but uh, we still had that mentality that was very similar. So when we started tagging, even to this day, or even till that son of a bee turned his back on me, um, they, every every match, every day, something else would click. It was like somehow we continue to have these chemistry grow and grow and grow every match or every day that we were with each other, which is something that I, that I feel is very unique in professional wrestling or maybe any sport, who knows? But um, it was something that was very, it was cool to be a part of because we're in the ring and we're wrestling and we're in the ring, we're tagging. And I know he's going to do, he knows what I got to do. He gives me this look. I know this. And I give him this look. And it's like, we were one step ahead of each other when we were teaming. And it's also that way when we're wrestling each other, because you know, he's going to push me to to my limits, no doubt. And I want to do the same to him. I want to push him. And we want to just make sure that what we're doing out there is the best that we can do. We don't want to, we don't want to leave anything in the, in the tank. We don't want people to ever second guess what we're doing out there. And I feel that as far as when we're tagging in against each other, nobody has ever said, man, that was, that was kind of a letdown. Or I, I think those guys kind of half-assed it. No, I think, you know, whenever we go out there, whether it's against or with each other, we leave it all out there and we give, you know, 110%, the cliche saying, but we do that and we leave it all in the ring for each other and for the people. That's what we do. You guys are awesome. Awesome chemistry, like you said, whether wrestling or, you know, against each other or, or tagging. But do you think the fact that maybe he's pissed that you won the ROH title before him and you won the TNA world title for him, you think that plays a factor? I think there's a lot of things that go into it, and I think the biggest factor in it is uh, somebody by who goes by the name of Angelina Love. That would be the biggest factor in all of this, uh, putting thoughts and ideas into into his head, which, you know, and maybe they weren't there on his own, but uh, she has definitely been the force behind it all uh, at this point. can't trust those women for sure and you know when the wolves came into tna and you guys were a team in the end you win the tag title it felt like everything was great and you guys were doing great when you first came into tna you know kind of surprised the world a little bit with mvp you guys were like the big free agents what was your you know original thoughts there it was like uh coming together as a team and then divide and conquer or, or did you want to be a team for a longer period of time uh, when we were, you know, when we came in as a team, the goal was to stay a team for as a uh, foreseeable future for as long as we can, because, you know, to, like we discussed just a little bit ago, as far as the chemistry stuff, to have a tag team like that, to be a team with that type of chemistry, I think it's tough to come by, as I said. So we wanted to run with it as far as we could and push it to the limit and see, and see what we could do, because we knew that, you know, a team like that, uh, us together it's something that's unique and we're also uh, unique in the fact that you know we could divide and conquer at any time we could do you know we go singles matches we go x division we could do world title matches and we go back to tag and that was kind of my thinking all along that you know we we both had to deal with some injuries and stuff so it was kind of like you know somebody's injured or whatever we have to go off and do our own thing that's fine but in the end to come back and you know conquer once again as a tag team yeah, and obviously one of the best tag teams of this generation, just a perfect mix uh, of two guys that just really, I mean, it, it, there's so much, again, we could just hit cliches over the head <laughs> like crazy, but, you know, what do you think it was, though, about you guys? I mean, you kind of, you definitely elaborated there, but what do you think it was about you guys pairing up against some of the better tag teams in the business? Did you guys feel like you guys had that chip on your shoulder that you could you could kind of go with anybody, or did you uh, do you feel like you had something to prove when you went in there with some of the bigger uh, bigger teams once you made that jump, you know, to uh, to impact? Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of how we were all along. We always had something to prove. 
We always wanted to be the best, you know, have the best matches on the show and stuff like that. And we, you know, you have to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder. So, like you said, when we did get to Impact and, you know, we're going up against legendary tag teams, you know, Team 3D and the Hardy Boys like that, like to be able to go in a ring with those guys, we know we have to step up our game. Those they are proven, they they are proven entities. They are proven legends, Hall of Fame tag teams, and we have to go out there like. And we know, you know, we know what they would be thinking. We know what the fans are thinking that we're, you know, we're the new kids on the block. Here we go. Let's see, let's see if we can hang with those types of teams. And not only did we hang, but we were able to to get victories over both teams and and just go out there and put on matches that I feel that I am very proud of what we did. Um, and I think, and I know for a fact that we earned those teams respect. And I feel that the fans could sense that at the end of it all. 